What's up guys, BD Wiz here. You ever wondered, how many watts does it take to blow a speaker? Well, I kind of thought about it and actually had this Skosh, very fancy speaker box I picked up a while back for, mainly just for making it into a Bluetooth speaker. It was only 30 bucks at Walmart. You know, pretty cheap, didn't have to build a box. So, took out the six and a half and put in some infinity coaxials. Sounds pretty good, you know, for a basic little setup. And it has these fancy Paizo tweeters, sound quality for the win. Those of you who've listened to these know what I'm talking about. Yeah, get you some of that. But anyway, the six and a half inch driver is actually not too bad looking that comes with this box. It has a, like a one inch voice coil, 15 ounce magnet, it has a rubber surround, injected molded polypropylene cone. And according to the specs, 100 watts RMS total, so we'll say that's 50 watts RMS per speaker, or 150 max per speaker. Now, it's really cool that we have this handheld AMM1 by SMD and Des Moines Engineering, which will actually measure how much power is getting to the speaker in watts in actual real time. So I decided, hmm, let's try this out with this 6.5 inch speaker and see what it does. Now what I'd like is for you guys to go ahead and pause the video and make a guess how many watts you think the speaker will take before it blows. So I used three different cameras to capture the footage of the speaker blowing. The first camera here is the Thiai T5E. Check the video description for a link to purchase one of these if you're interested. Right, the next camera was the iPhone 6s Plus running the 240 frame per second slow motion mode. Check out that flex. All right, and here's the third and final camera angle. If you watch close, I put a little picture in picture so you can see the actual wattage. So let's check it out. There it goes. Uh, Whew. Stinky. So here you go, 225 watts was right at the amount where this speaker gave up. Not too bad considering 50 watts RMS, 150 watts max rated. It actually handled a little bit more power. So pretty cool test. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check the video description. I'll have a link where you can purchase an AMM1 if you're interested. They're in and out of stock, so you have to get one when they're available. And also I'll have a link to the Skosh box in case you want to pick one of these up for some reason. As always, thank you guys for watching. Until next time. I'm out of here. You want the house to smell like an electrical burn? No, nope, I'm gonna take the speaker outside right now. Like, is that right? How you caught something on fire at the old house that we were renting, remember? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's see what the food looks like.